Hi guys, just want to touch today on um, the topic of cyber insurance, which I know we've covered before. Um, however, it's becoming um, more and more relevant for more and more businesses all the time, um, particularly those who hold uh, customer data or who are responsible for their customers' information. Um, what happens if you lose that data? And also, many businesses are um, totally dependent on technology. I know we are. You know, so uh, somebody bringing down the systems uh, or stealing data could have a massive impact on the business. Um, but since its inception uh, a number of years ago, cyber insurance used to be fairly easy to get hold of. You couple, tick a couple of boxes, uh, quote a premium based on turnover or number of records that you hold on your system, and you get a premium pretty quickly. However, what's happened in recent years is that insurance companies have really started to be hit by claims, be impacted by that, and so a lot of them are reviewing the, uh, the capacity that they provide. So they're reducing the limits of cover that they provide, they're increasing excesses, and they're also increasing premiums. Now, in addition to that, they are also asking lots more questions about the kind of um, security that you have. So previously, they might ask, do you have a antivirus, do you have a firewall? That would pretty much be it. Nowadays, they're asking much more around multi-factor authentication, what you might be doing to manage um, social engineering fraud. So in other words, people trying to get access to your staff and steal their passwords um, through social engineering means, through social media, that kind of thing. Um, and they're basically underwriting things a lot more thoroughly than they used to. So there's a couple of things to consider. Um, how much do you need cyber cover? Do you need it? Is it something you should be looking at for your business? But also, should you be looking at your cyber security and how you manage that to make sure that you're, um, you, you're not vulnerable to people who could be looking around to hack into various systems? You might think you're not a high profile business, but hackers don't really care about that. They simply look for uh, vulnerabilities and then they exploit those and potentially steal your data or possibly hold you to ransom to gain that data. So be thinking about the requirement for insurance, but also probably more relevant looking at cyber security issues. Again, hope that's been useful. If you've got any questions about cyber insurance or cyber security, please get in touch and we can help out or we can point you in the right direction for people that can. Take care. See you soon. Bye-bye.